Welcome to a very rainy Friday and thunderstorm Friday. We don't often get thunderstorms here, usually just rains. And as a Texan, I love a good thunderstorm. Um, unfortunately, I have to run an errand today. I have a bill due from my hospital surgery last, last year. And I never got the bill. So now, of course, this week, they've been sending me legal notices saying that I have to pay this. And um, I emailed them and they explained to me what it was. I was like, well, I never got the invoice anyway. So I'm going up to the hospital to pay that bill now. I did not know it was going to thunderstorm today. I would have gotten myself out of bed earlier if I had known, because it's like one o'clock. <laughs> oh, well, it's not the end of the world. It's just water. That is now taken care of. That was a little bit painful because I thought I had paid everything. So, anyway. <sighs> you know, sometimes you make decisions when you don't feel well that maybe weren't the best. Um, because what I had done is said that I wanted a private room about two days into the stay. And I had to pay for the private room out of pocket. So, now obviously in Greece it's much cheaper than it would be in the US, but. <laughs> still a lot of money so anyway and the rain has mostly stopped it's just drippy now and very overcast and I am very close to the home like depot type store and I want to get some, ooh, some Christmas lights for my apartment I was thinking I would get a tree but I may not do that because they're kind of pricey um, and obviously I'm not going to be here for Christmas, so let's just go see what they have. I thought if it was still rainy, I wouldn't do this, but it's not. So this is a good time to do it. They do have Christmas decorations. Yay. I wasn't 100% sure to be honest with you. So I was just hoping. I see trees and they had a great window in the front so just gotta find what I want. Okay I'm gonna have to go on a hunt because I want these not these specific lights but I want white or clear string because I think I'm gonna hang it over my door and all I can find is ones with green and this is the Christmas section but they don't have the lights that's like the only lights they have so and I might have found a Christmas tree alternative they have these cute little wooden Christmas trees. There's one up there that I really like. So that would be a Christmas tree that I could just hang on the wall and maybe add some greenery to it. So I've got to find where the lights in this tree is. I found a bigger Christmas section so hopefully they have what I want up here. Wow this is great. It makes me want to get a tree. I decided I would walk to Santagma because it was so hot on the metro with all the people and the humidity and everybody's bundled up and I'm in a t-shirt. <laughs> but look how pretty from the rain, all the clouds and the sun. Very nice. I lied. I ended up getting a Christmas tree. I went up to that other section and they had smaller trees and this was only $8.99. So kind of amazing and it came with the um, pine cones on it. So all I had to buy were the lights and the little ornaments and I bought these little, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, and then I put the Christmas boat ornament that I put bought last week as the star. So I'm very happy with this purchase and it's small enough that I can just fold all the little uh, branches up and shove it in my storage area. Let me show you what it looks like in the dark. Ta-da! So, super cozy, and I'm super happy with it. So, easy, easy Christmas decorations. <laughs> I'm back in DCO today because I'm going to go visit the only cat cafe here in Athens. It opened, I believe, last year, and I just haven't made it. And I wanted to show you guys in my Theseo video, but I had to get to my Greek lesson, and then I was like, oh, I'll come back on Tuesday. 
not knowing they're closed on Tuesdays. <laughs> so we are here today and I have missed the rain so far. <laughs> um, it kept saying it was gonna rain and then it said it didn't and now it's saying it's gonna rain again. So I'm not really sure. It's very overcast, but it's sunny off in the distance. So who knows? It is much cooler today. So it's not as busy as it would be if it was warm out. I think when I left the house, it was like 54, but it said it felt like 52. So um, it, it is actually chilly now. <laughs> Look at these two buildings. Really amazing architecture. This one here with the glass little awning reminds me of New Orleans. <laughs> so really kind of different actually than some of the more traditional Greek buildings that used to be here. Look at that one. That one's very traditionally Greek. Love the color of the building too. Here we are. It's this really fun turquoise colored building. I will put a link to their website so you can see. I will tell you that you do need a reservation most likely. If you come and they have an availability, they will let you in. But when I went on yesterday to make my reservation for today, they didn't have a lot of spots open. So if this is something that you definitely want to do while you're here, make a reservation. It's super easy too. We have this nice little outdoor space for them. And then there's inside seating as well. There are more kittens inside, but it's kind of warm. So I thought I'd sit outside. I've been trying to get this black and white one to come and sit with me, but I'm not sure what it wants. <laughs> There seems to be some kittens inside, so after I finish my snack, I'll go in and see the other ones. That carrot cake looks amazing. It was funny, they brought out some other people's food with mine, and all the cats went running to them. Even though you're not supposed to feed the cats, they are very interested in the human food. that have been adopted by living here. And when I checked their website, I think they said there were like 50 since they opened, which I think is amazing. I enjoyed that. I wish they had been a little more cuddly, but I think they probably get very petted a lot and they probably get tired of it. But I was super happy to go and help them support them in their endeavors of taking care of the cats here. I am now on my way back home. I took the bus down through Petralona and I got off and I'm gonna walk my normal walking route home because it takes me past the supermarket, which I desperately need to go to. I planned this really well today. <laughs> One thing that's really nice about these cooler days is I've been noticing the smell of fire. In other words, people are having a fire in their house, in their fireplace. It's really nice smell. I'm back. You guys didn't know this, but it's been several days. Um, Sunday, there was a big demonstration here that happens every year and the transportation kind of gets messed up. And I just decided it was a good day to stay in and then I've been working the last couple of days. But I know some of you wanted to see this photo printer that I bought. So I'm gonna open it with you guys. I did open the big box because um, I was kind of curious about how big it was. Um, if you're wondering what we're talking about, my last video, I got a photo printer delivered, but a lot of people said they wanted to see it. So let's see it. I should also say this is not sponsored or anything by them. I just wanted a photo printer uh, to do some journaling with. And I feel like my photos never get printed for my travels and they just live in my phone. And that's really frustrating. I own a printer, but it only prints paper, obviously. So it's the Canon Selfie Compact Photo Printer. This is the newish version. I guess there's an older version. Um, this is the 1500, so. And it is smaller in the box. The box is smaller than I expected like after getting it, so that's good. Okay, the actual printer is much smaller. Okay, that's good, because I was hoping it wasn't as gigantic as the box that it came in. And then we have power cable 
and the adapter. Okay, without that little tray and the cords, this is how big it is. It's not very big at all. It's smaller than my laptop. <laughs> um, I don't know how many inches. I didn't even look when I bought it to see how much it is. So now I'm going to like read the manual and get it set up and then I'll come back and like show you guys. Well, I will attempt to print something on it. <laughs> I figured out what this is. This is where the paper goes. So the paper I had to buy separately. Um, and I bought this card size cause I'm gonna use it in a small journal but you can also get a four by six inches, which I don't know what it is in millimeters. And I was gonna get both, but I wanted to see how the quality was before I bought it because a package of that was like 40 euros. I mean, granted, it was a hundred and something pieces of paper. The other thing is it includes the ink and it includes enough ink to print the exact number of pieces of paper that it comes with. Well guys, this was an epic fail and partly on my part. <laughs> because I didn't realize that you had to get a separate tray for the smaller sizes. So it keeps giving me an error when I'm trying to print these and that's because it doesn't recognize this tray. So I've spent quite a bit of time looking at Google, um, not Google, YouTube reviews and yes, I need a separate tray, which I don't know if I can get here because when I go to the place that I um, ordered it from, it's not available. So. That's okay, I may have to order it from Amazon Germany. It's fine. Um, in the meantime, I may get the four by six and check it out because I'd like to at least try it. I'm now doing something that I do a lot here, which is go to multiple grocery stores to find an item that I want. And they may not even have it. <laughs> so I really want to get canned chickpeas. I get dried chickpeas. I got chickpeas in a pouch the other day, but it was very small. I don't really want to like have to soak chickpeas just to make lunch with. And I could order them online, but then I've got to order a bunch of other stuff and I don't really need anything else right now. So I've been to the two near my house, nothing except for the pouch or the dried. I'm gonna try this one. If they don't have it, there's another one. And if they don't have it, then I may have to give up. <laughs> oh, I'm in luck. They have them. I have a big can of them too. And I walked past a different aisle they have lime juice in like the pre-squeezed and they also have bolognese, which for some reason has been really hard to find here. So sometimes you get lucky and it's times like these where I feel like I should buy all of them, but I won't. That solves the problem of what I'm gonna have for dinner too, because I'm gonna have the bolognese. I have been trying to buy bolognese for like months now and I get like one occasionally and then I buy it somewhere and never have it again. Even though I found what I'm looking for, which by the way, I'm astounded. I am gonna go check the other big supermarket. They just renovated it. So I'm gonna go see if they have chickpeas and if they have bolognese. I'm not gonna buy any more. I'm just sort of curious because um, it's nice to know where I'm, what my options are. I do have to show you guys the sunset. It's looking amazing and it's nice today. It's like almost 70, it's like 19 degrees Celsius. So I'm just wearing like a lightweight long sleeve shirt. It's great. They did not have canned, at least where I checked. What I thought was interesting though is they have pasta up there, but no pasta sauce. So I'm now on the next level. Aha. Uh -huh. And they do not have bolognese. So at least the place I've picked first was the right one. I almost came here first just because they renovated and I thought they might have more in stock. In case you're wondering, this is the Sclavenitas, so it's not a huge renovation. It's like just giving it a facelift. The layout's pretty much the same. They did get new freezers, so that's nice, but it's, it, it's a small one because it's in this, basically an apartment building, so, but it's still nice to have options. The other thing I forgot to mention is that today there was a strike. Almost nothing was working today. Now, some of the public transportation was running like from nine to nine, but I think it's on a very limited schedule because I've very, not heard very many buses outside my house. The ferries are on strike, the bus, the metro, um, government workers, some of them, not all of them were on strike. I don't know. <laughs> so it's been kind of a quiet week. So 
I know this video is a little bit shorter than some of my normal ones, but hopefully life will be back to normal in Greece next week. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.